Stanford University. We only really know what we know about the history of tobacco because of the disclosure through litigation of the so-called secret documents. This is a vast trove of over 70 million pages of formerly secret tobacco industry documents. And these tell a tale of the design of the cigarette, of the effort by the industry to create a device that would create and sustain addiction. If you have people try different types of cigarettes, they can't really tell one type from another because the cigarette itself is, they're basically all the same. The cigarette contains hundreds of different ingredients ranging from castorium, which is a secretion from the anal gland of the Siberian beaver, to humectants like glycerin and exotic flavorants and most of the world's licorice. The cigarettes don't sell unless they deliver nicotine because people are addicted. Every year there are six million people who die from smoking worldwide and those are really unnecessary deaths. A great deal of design effort has gone into making this very ordinary product in something that's irresistible, seductive. Most people who smoke, 80 or 90 percent actually, are addicted and in fact cigarettes are as addictive as heroin or cocaine. You've got Santa Claus advertising cigarettes here with the idea being that you should give cigarettes as gifts. The pack of the cigarette itself has become the last bastion of tobacco advertising, a kind of micro ad. And it's one of the reasons that so many countries are starting to push for plain packaging. Imagery is, is everything. People want to hold these, the American shirt pocket, goes right with it. The cigarette is maintained by an elaborate collaboration with academics. Scholars from every discipline have collaborated in keeping the tobacco industry going. They serve as witnesses in court. They advise on the manufacturing properties. They advise in the marketing or the sale. And this is really an undisclosed collaboration that is responsible for the continuation of the tobacco epidemic. It's really kind of like a shadow profession that's gone on behind the scenes. And there's no accountability here. Basically, no part of culture has been exempt and has not been used in order to sell cigarettes. There are lots of things that can be done. The FDA now has the power to regulate the content of cigarettes and they should take the nicotine as low as possible. The law actually has been written so they can't entirely bar nicotine from cigarettes, but they could reduce it to a level that is so low it would not be able to create and sustain addiction. Cat food and dog food have been more carefully regulated than what goes into cigarettes. Part of this huge burden of death is the result of basically negligence and the industry having a free hand For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.